Hey, what's up guys? This is Dom from MacMixing.com and today we're going to do a RAM installation video on a 15 inch MacBook Pro. And I've done some of these before actually. Uh, I just, I like to document every time I do any kind of repair or anything on any of my computers or anything so you guys can see kind of what the process is in case you don't understand. Uh, today we're putting in this 16 gigabyte kit right here and uh, this is two eight gigabyte sticks. It's a uh, Corsair value select RAM. Uh, personally, I've never had any problems with uh, any kind of discount RAM, I guess you would say. Just buy a trusted brand, like Corsair is a pretty trusted brand, so you know I trust them and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in here. Um, first, we have to open up the MacBook Pro. And so you wanna flip it over, and this is the bottom. Make sure you have a good screwdriver set. I have this like, multi screwdriver set right here it's got pretty much everything that I need to open up a MacBook or an iPhone stuff like that and find the right bit to fit in the holes there just like that so you just want to get a perfect snug fit so basically we want to go through and unscrew all the screws here there is 10 of them so go through and unscrew all 10 and then we'll be able to lift off the back and also you guys, remember where you take the screws out from because I believe uh, a few of them are shorter and longer than the others. I think it's the back ones back here. Uh, there's three back ones that are longer. Just make sure you remember where all the screws go. So let's go ahead and take out all these screws. And all right guys, so I got all the screws out. And yeah, it is these three back ones right here that are the long ones. This is what they look like. They're uh... A little bit longer than uh, than the other ones, as you can see there. Just a little long screw. So make sure you remember where those go, because we got to put them back, or you'll break something if you try to screw them in elsewhere. So let's go ahead by taking off the back here. Let's start by doing that. And what you can do is you can actually just lightly lift up on the back side there, and you'll feel it kind of pop off. And see there, we have it off. We have the inside guts of everything and what you want to do first before you go messing around with anything is you want to you want to ground out any electricity on your body by touching a metal component in the frame of your computer here so you know I'm just gonna go ahead and touch the framing right here and get any static that might possibly be in my body but as you can see here we have a RAM chip so let me zoom in and we will go ahead and replace these all right, guys, so right now I have eight gigabytes in here. And by the way, make sure that you shut down your computer before you do this. I, I should have mentioned that from the get-go, but I assume that it's kind of a given. Make sure your computer's shut down. And so we're gonna just pop those out and see how I did that. I just pulled the lever to the side, these little levers on each side, just pull them out and you'll feel that pop up. And then you can go ahead and remove it outwards towards you like this, Whew. outwards and go ahead and set those aside. And this one's a little bit trickier to get in and get out sometimes. Um, luckily I just popped it really easy there. So again, pull out towards you, just like that, out. Now we're ready to open up the new RAM. So we have our new RAM right here. I'm gonna cut this open. And we're gonna put those in the exact same spot, you guys, believe it or not. <laughs> and uh, the jump from eight gigabytes to 16 gigabytes is gonna be pretty significant. So we got the RAM out right here, as you can see, and we're just gonna go ahead and stick those in there exactly how we took out the other ones. Uh, the bottom one's kinda hard to get in, but okay, check it out. If you just put it in diagonally like that, get it in the slot right there, and then you can pull these out. You have to pull them out while you push the RAM down. So just like that. See, I just kinda did I'll do it again for you real quick. Make sure this is in all the way. Make sure it's in the socket all the way. Pull out the side levers and push it down with your finger so it locks in place. And then the next one is gonna be a lot simpler because all you have to do is line it up in there. Just put it in diagonally again like that. Get it in the socket and then push it down. There you go. Now we're all set. All right, you guys, so now, now that we have the RAM in there, um, what I like to do before I screw everything back together is I like to test it and make sure that we don't get the three beeps of death. And by that, I mean, uh, you, you'll hear it, you guys. It'll go deet, deet, deet if, it, if things aren't working out okay, if something's wrong with the RAM or if the, it's not pushed in all the way, your computer won't boot up. So I usually just put in one screw just to hold it in place, you know, 
for the time being. All right, so we got one screw in. We're gonna go ahead and test this out. And yeah, my screen really is that dirty, you guys. Um, so start it up and we have power. All right, and we are booted up. Let's check and see if that RAM is recognized. All right, so there you guys go. As you can see, we're all good to go. 16 gigabytes of RAM, 1333 megahertz. Everything is set to go and it looks like everything's running fine. Other than that, you guys, thank you very much for watching. Please click this button and subscribe. Meow, meow. Our Twitter link is here. Meow. Our Facebook link is here. Meow. So thanks again, guys. This is Dom from MacMixing.com and have a great day. <laughs>